Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see 11th problem. In an election, 60% of voters cast their votes form an equation and draw the graphs for this data. Okay, find the following from the graph. So here, first of all, we have to form the linear equation. See one hint also given. If the number of voters who cast their votes be x and the total number of voters be y, then 60% of people are casting their votes. So 60% of y is equal to x. Okay, I will write like this only. So I wrote let number of voters who cast their votes x and let total number of voters y. 60% of voters cast their votes. So x is equal to 60% of y. Percent means by 100. Of means into. So this 0 and 0 will get cancelled. 2 3's and 2 5's. So that implies x is equal to 3 by 5 into y. Right. So actually we want to find out the y value. So then y equals to here 5 is under division. If we transpose it, it comes under multiplication. 5x and here it is in multiplication. If we transpose it comes under division. So y equals to 5 by 3 x or 5 x by 3. Okay. Now for this we want to find out the points. So we want to find out the points. So first if x is 300 just we will take multiples of 3 then cancellation will be very easy. So 300 then y equals to 5 by 3 into 300. So 300s. So 5 into 100, 500. So x 300, y 500. This is a. Now I will take 600. Here 3 is there, no? So that's why we are taking like that. So y equals to 5 by 3 into 600. 3 ones, 3 twos. 5 twos are 1000. So 600 comma 1000. It is point B. Next we will take x as 900. So y equals to 5 by 3 into 900. 3 ones, 3 threes. So 5 threes are 1500. So 900 comma 1500. It is point C. Now we will draw the graph. So here all the x values are hundreds and y values 500, 1000, 1500 like that. So I took on the x axis 100, 200, 300, 400. That is 1, 100 gap. So that's why I wrote scale on x axis 1 centimeter equals to 100 units. Okay. And coming to the y axis here 2 to 100 difference I took. Okay. So because 1500 is there no maximum value. So I wrote 1 centimeter as 200 units on y axis. Now we will plot this. So first point x on the x axis 300 and on the y axis 500. So where is 500 means between 400 and 600 fifth line will be there no. So that is 500. So it is 300 comma 500. It is point A. Okay. Next. 600 and 1000. So here 600. Here 1000. So write the point. 600. 1000. It is point B. Next. Last one. 900. 1500. So on the x axis 900. 
and on the y axis 1500 so this is 18 16 so between 1400 and 1600 1500 will be there so this is 900 1500 this is point c now with the scale join these three points okay since it is in the form of y equals to mx it passes through the origin okay so this is the graph of y equals to 5 by 3 x okay now in the textbook they are asking questions from the graph we have to answer so here number of voters cast votes we took as x in the problem and total number of voters y so that's what i wrote on x and y axis okay so now here the first question the total number of voters if 1200 voters cast their votes that means on the x axis number of voters cast their votes we took on x axis right so on the x axis 1200 and what is the corresponding value so at 1200 draw a line like this so now we want to find out the total number of orders so this is 2000 okay so if 1200 voters cast their votes what is the total number of voters 2000 okay and the next question the number of voters cast if the total number of voters 800 so total number of voters we took on y axis so if on the y axis it is 800 what is the value on x axis we want to find out okay so from 800 draw a line on to the graph this line okay now from here draw another line so here each line value is 10 okay 410 420 430 like that the values will comes so if we draw the line here see it is two lines before 500 that means it is 800 i am using sketches now so the lines somewhat thick if we use the pencil exactly the values will comes okay so this is 480 and it is 2000 so like this you have to write so you just write below the calculation okay i wrote on the graph paper only no problem if you write it on the graph paper okay